and welcome back. We end tonight with a story that's all about the spooky season. As Jeannie Most reports, one man opted out of a traditional costume and is opening the door to new neighborhood scares. C is for cookie. It's as if the cookie monster took up residence in the front door. Do <laughs> you like candy? Well, I'm gonna eat you. This is an Iowa family's contribution to Halloween. So I thought I'd just dress up the house. It took Greg Dietzenbach 10 days and about 200 bucks to make what he calls the monster. It looked like a Pixar movie come to life. <laughs> what are you doing? That's my kid. First, he made a mini prototype. <laughs> then he made a door. Arms out of broomsticks, video eyes looped on an old TV and a mouth out of styrofoam covered in purple fur, purple fur everywhere. In the end, it pretty much looked like I killed a Muppet. Every Halloween, Greg, the creative director at a creative design agency, does something unique for Halloween, like when he made this Zoom meeting costume for his kids at the height of the pandemic. Oh, on Halloween, he'll be the man behind the door, flapping the arms. Hey! And using his foot to move a line attached to his shoe that moves the mouth. In a way, Greg is a little like the Wizard of Oz. Oh. The one thing Greg's monster door can't do is open. To get inside, Greg usually crawls through a window. But when it comes to those vocals... That's Martin! Greg's more of a whiz than the wizard. I am the great and powerful wizard of Oz. Hey, that's my candy. Greg is the wizard of Iowa. Genie Mouse, CNN. Happy Halloween. New York.